In the plant profile series of videos, today we will look at a strawberry variety that's called Chandler. It's a vigorous, very prolific variety that's not only easy to grow, but tastes absolutely delicious. So we will be growing these strawberries in two types of containers. These containers that you see here are quite wide, however they are not as deep. Now the Chandler produces large strawberries. So we are also going to compare it with growing in a deeper container and see how that works out. I have used a standard potting mix of 30% peat, 30% perlite and 30% compost. I have not added any fertilizer yet. I will let the strawberry plants set in after transplanting them and give them some time to just uh, you know settle down in the new environment. And then once they are settled, maybe after about a couple of weeks, you can start your fertilizer schedule. And the Chandler variety of strawberry has very shallow roots. So you can pretty much grow it in any kind of container that you want to. Here you can see the strawberry plants growing. Now I planted these strawberry plants in December because these are June bearing strawberries. So if you plant them in December, it gives them some time to kind of grow a little bit larger so that when it's June, they start producing flowers and fruits. So this strawberry variety grows great along the west coast and you can see that it also grows great in some of the states that you can see here. So I use this net here that you can see to protect the strawberries from birds and other critters. And it seems to do a good job without affecting the growth of the strawberry plant. So what you're seeing here is a 16 inch large container and it holds about 5 to 7 gallons of soil. And that's quite enough to grow this variety of strawberry. And as you can see the strawberries are pretty large. And this is one of the reasons the strawberry is also grown commercially. It's not only large in size, doesn't have any defects, it's good looking and it also tastes very good. It has one of the best taste profiles amongst all the strawberry plants. Strawberries do well with an all-purpose fertilizer so make sure that the fertilizer you're getting doesn't have high amounts of nitrogen. However, the strawberry doesn't need a lot of fertilizer so as long as you're growing these strawberries in a decent conditions using a lot of compost, some well-draining soil as I have done here you can get a lot of strawberries very easily. This strawberry variety is also very resistant to any kind of insects and although it is susceptible to diseases, I've never really seen any kind of diseases on my strawberry plants. The only thing that you want to remember is slugs just love to eat the strawberry leaves and the strawberries. So if your strawberries are getting ripe, just make sure the slugs are nowhere around the strawberries because all you're going to get is strawberries that have large holes in them and not very pretty. And this is why I prefer growing strawberries in containers that allow the strawberries to kind of hang out or hang down along the sides of the container. So that way it's pretty safe from any kind of insects or slugs. So I hope you liked today's video of growing strawberries. And this again is the Chandler version of strawberry. Very prolific, one of the best strawberries to grow in your garden. And I'd like to know from you, my YouTube viewers, what kind of strawberry varieties do you grow? Do you have a special favorite that you would like to share? And what do you think about this variety of strawberry? Have you grown it before? Do let me know and I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.